Now we're going to talk about different types of variables. In ProRealTime, we can use two types of variables which are completely sufficient to do almost everything we need to do in the platform. The two main types of variables are integers, which can contain only numbers, and boolean, we'll come back to these later, which are either a true or false status, but always with a numerical value. We can at any time in ProRealTime give a value to any variable. Let's see how to do this. So we just need to give the variable a name. It can be any string of letters. For example, var1 equals 1, 2, 3. Here I have my string of letters equal to 123. Let's do another example, var2 equals 3.14. You can't start a variable with a number. So you can't say like 1 var equals 1, 2, 5. If you do that, you'll see a little exclamation point here, and that's the code editor telling you there's an error in this line. You need to correct this error. So let's delete this. And in its place, we'll say variable three equals 51. And see, as soon as I corrected that syntax error, the exclamation point goes away. Once the variables are declared, we can use them in any programming instruction. We can compare them. We can also call or get the value a variable had in the past. We'll see how to do that in another video. So these are normal integer values that are interpreted by the software. And the integer variable is the variable which is most frequently used in pro real time. Now let's look at Boolean variables. Boolean just means true or false. If the variable has a value different from zero, it's considered to be true. If it's equal to zero, it's considered to be false. Here, the variables var1, var2, and var3 are greater than zero. So for the code interpreter, those would be true. If in the future I need to test if a value has already been assigned to var1, for example, if the Boolean returns false, that means VAR1 does not have a value yet. On the other hand, if VAR1 was greater than zero, it would return a value of true. Generally, when we talk about Boolean variables, zero is false and one is true. However, in ProRealTime, the code editor will interpret values greater than zero to be true. What can be stored in variables? We can only store numbers in variables, not text. For example, we can't say var4 equals hello. That's not going to work. However, we could say var4 equals var1 plus var2 because var1 and var2 are already defined above. If I were to write the instruction var4 equals hello, without quotes, that would actually set VAR4 equal to zero because the word hello is not a variable that's defined above. However, if just above that I write hello equals five, for example, then this would set VAR4 equal to hello, which is equal to five. This works because the code is always read from top to bottom. That's something you always want to keep in mind.